Chris, we're down at Sainsbury's HQ today, raising money for Red Nose Day and Restart. Talk us through what you're up to. We basically going to set a challenge to, uh, to bake a cake, which is Eric Langard's um, recipe. So we've all had an individual challenge to see who can produce the best cake, and then also ice and sell cupcakes. So we've had 2,000 cupcakes that we've had to ice and scribe away from getting other people to ice as well, and then we're just in the process of selling them around the building now. In terms of the baking, um, I heard that the Quinns boys had a bit of a disaster in the kitchen. Yeah, we, we had our, t our two wingmen with us, so Tom Van Dam, Christian Wade, obviously quite cool and, uh, and smooth as usual, so we was quite calm over this side of the, of the kitchen. The Quinns lot, it was a bunch of fours really, so there was all lots of shouting and clashing and banging as usual, as you'd expect. Out of the three Wasp boys, who was uh, head and shoulders above in the kitchen? Oh, it's been really, I can't really talk myself up too much, can I? It's sort of a bit embarrassing, but no, actually, Wade did really well. Um, we had Lorraine, a, a lady from Fairham, who was helping us, and she was the best by a long shot, so. Eric, you've been looking after some of the Wasp boys in the kitchen today. What have they shown in terms of culinary skill? Well, they're um, pretty good, I have to admit. Um, what we I know by experience that men are better at the baking uh, because definitely they're more ambitious and you know they always approach baking like if you were the first set of uh, Lego or the first set of uh, Meccano. So they are very good at following the recipes, which is the secret of a good baking. You know, you need to stick to the recipes and weigh everything perfectly. So, yeah, we had some, um, some great baking today. It almost went to disasters because the oven were not uh, set to the right temperatures, but I managed to save the day um, with them. So, and I think Looking at the cakes, the finished product now, I think it's stunning. I, I will have them happily sitting in a, in a window in my um, patisserie in Battersea. They seem to be doing very well outside selling. I'm not sure whether that's because of the eagerness of the sellers or if people are starting to realise who they are, that they're professional rugby players. But the, the cakes seem to be going down well. Um, yes, I mean I think they're raising a lot of money for comic relief, which is great. Um, I think you're definitely right. Even looking at my Twitters, I've been tweeting right through the day, and um, I got so many women followers who go like, "Can we join them? Where are you?" And I'm sure it wasn't just about the cakes. You're looking very fetching in that wasp top. I think you're probably an official wasp fan, are you now? Uh, that's it. Yeah, I'm definitely converted. Mostly one of your guys, uh, Chris, is a good, a big fan of mine. You know, you watch all of my TV shows. He's got all the books and. Um, uh, I think we're probably going to see him in a top three. Tom, we're out on the streets of London selling cupcakes. How's it going so far? It's going alright actually. I mean, it's a bit slow, but you know, slow but surely people are coming to us and, and buying our lovely cupcakes. I've seen you very determined. Is the fact that it's all for a good cause spurring you on? Yeah, and the fact that we're, um, we're beating Quinns as well. We need to beat Quinns. The charity is obviously very important, but obviously the victory over the Harley Quinns is, is probably up there. <laughs> the most important thing today. <laughs>